How do you make a video essay? What do you make your video about? How do you select which films to cover? What about scripting the video? How do you source footage in the best possible quality? What equipment do you need to do so? What sorts of formats can you use? How do you edit your final product together in an interesting, convincing way? Hi, I'm Will Webb. I'm a filmmaker, film reviewer, and most importantly for this, a video essayist. In this series of videos, I'm going to explain as much as possible about the process of making video essays, drawing on my experience and pointing you towards further resources you can use to make your own video essays. And one last thing, I'm specifically talking about video essays about films, but lots of what I'll discuss is applicable to videos about games, TV, or pretty much anything you want to cover. The first thing you'll need is an idea. You probably already have this. After all, you clicked on a video called How to Make a Video Essay. The idea could be a deep dive on a film you like, identifying something in it that you want to talk about, whether that's a directorial choice, a narrative arc, or a thematic element. You might want to talk about the fantastical parts of The Fisher King, the set design of Snowpiercer, or the emotional journey of Holly Hunter's character in The Piano. Another approach is to look at a film with a production focus. Not so much why did the filmmakers choose to do this, but more how did they do this. I did this with the Creepshow films, for example, examining the inspiration behind them and the process of how they were made. Another approach is to compare a number of films, looking for similarities or points of contrast. You could focus on genre, like a rundown of tropes in black exploitation film. You might look at approaches to similar themes, like John Carpenter's treatment of end-of-the-world stories across his Apocalypse trilogy. You might seek to find commonalities in a single creative's work, like exploring the strong visual style of Wes Anderson's films, for example. Something like the lateral dolly shots of Wes Anderson. There's a freebie. If you're having trouble coming up with an idea, here's an exercise to consider. Think of one of your favourite films, pick something distinctive that you like about it, or a particular scene or sequence, and try to work out what makes it so good. That's a great way to approach a rough structure for your video. Once you've got your idea, it's always worth re-watching the film or films your essay is about, even if you know them very well. You may discover that your recollection of the movie is wrong, or that you feel differently about it on this watch. Be open to discovering new things and changing your mind, as it'll be easier to do this now than further down the line in the editing stage. I always keep notes as I watch a movie, along with a rough timecode, so that I know at what point in the film's runtime my note refers to. Sometimes these notes are in depth, my thoughts on a key scene or sequence and where it might fit in my argument. Often it's a surface level thing, like a nice shot that ties into the theme of the video. You can see that the level of detail I go into varies a lot, and some notes are more for my research than for the essay itself. Things like check this pronunciation are important notes too. Armed with your notes, you can begin to script your video essay. I did a really academic degree, so I'm most comfortable approaching the first draft like a written essay. That means roughing out a structure, usually following some kind of argument. I'll explain what I'm going to do, make a point, and then seek out examples to prove that point. The end result looks like this, basically an essay in itself that could in theory be published. I then go back through my draft and insert references to specific shots and sequences so I can put them in during the editing stage. And remember that this is a video essay, and wherever possible you should be making your points with visuals and sound. Of course this isn't the only way to do it. Video essayist Charlie Shackleton, who's made feature-length essays like Beyond Clueless and Fear itself, writes his work as actual scripts, complete with character names and dialogues from the scenes that he will include. That's a great level of detail, and I think it encourages you to approach the subject in a holistic way, treating your video essay as a film in itself, and thinking creatively about how to incorporate elements from the used footage in your video. You might also be interested in making a more personal video essay, instead of the more academic or editorial style that I've covered here. When doing this, you might want to try a different approach to scripting. Sometimes I use a visual script, creating a table that lists rough ideas of scripted voiceover lines alongside shot ideas from films or any other sources you'd like to consider, and any additional notes or sound effects. That's actually kind of how I planned this video you're watching now. This is very meta, isn't it? Once you're happy with your first draft, I recommend that you try reading it through aloud. It'll help you hear the flow of the narration, make sure that it makes sense, and can actually be spoken aloud by a human being. That's always a good idea even if you're not recording the script yourself. 
I often find at this point, for example, that I've written sentences that are just way too long to be said out loud. You can redraft as you go along and keep rereading until everything sounds natural. At this point, your script is ready to record. You might redraft it during the recording process, and you might change or add elements during the editing process, rewriting and re-recording to clarify parts of your video. But what you want to have at this point is a blueprint, a scaffolding around which you will create your video essay. The next step is sourcing footage and recording your voiceover, which I'll cover in the next video. If you have any questions about this stage of making a video essay, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer. If you've enjoyed the video, do consider popping over to Patreon and supporting Indie Tricks, or go to my coffee and drop a few quid to say thanks. You can find links to both in the description.